The Tech Armor Slim Protect case is for those who want a case but don't really want others to know. It's so simple, doesn't really add any protection, but allows your iPhone to do all the showing off. Let's check it out. The Slim Protect is a single piece hard polycarbonate shell, basically a hard piece of plastic. It's stiff and feels like it'll crack like glass if you bend it too far, but it's clear and that's the whole point of it. To install, first wipe off any dust on the inside of the case as well as the back of the iPhone. Then go volume side first and snap the opposite corners in place. There's spacious cutouts for the power and volume buttons as well as the mute rocker and throughout the bottom with an indentation on the lightning port cutout to accommodate any size cables. Around the back is a large cutout for the camera and flash but the case is only thick enough to cover just about the height of the camera. From my tests, the camera can still contact surfaces when laid down. Otherwise, the real beauty of the case is just allowing the beauty of the iPhone to shine through. The Apple logo, iPhone text, and just a clean matte back look. And what I love most about the case is that it's unbranded, so there's nothing obstructing the iPhone. In the hand, it doesn't add much grip. In fact, it attracts a lot of fingerprints on the glossy clear surface. But even then, there's something about adding a layer of plastic that allows you to feel more confident holding your iPhone. Now, you're not afraid of scratching the actual paint when in use. It's been noted online that the gloss has issues with the jet black iPhone creating a rainbowing effect on the case, so I'd avoid it if that's the iPhone you have. In terms of protection, you're not getting much. There isn't an extended lip around the screen, so your screen is left vulnerable when laid face down. I highly recommend a screen protector to go with this case. I also wouldn't trust this to take a drop. Due to its rigid plastic design and lack of any shock absorption, it only really adds scratch protection when being placed down or in your pockets. So if you know you're the type to buddy your fingers up and drop everything you touch, I'd get your priorities straight. Tech Armor also claims the plastic is scratch resistant as well, so let's test it out. It looks like it will scratch up, but nothing that will take away from the look of the case. In the end, I wouldn't get this case if you're worried about protection, but if looks is what you're going for, and this is definitely the simplest way to go. At $8, you get what you pay for. There aren't layers on layers of protection, but match it with the screen protector and you've got a scratch-free solution to allow your iPhone to shine through. If you are concerned about protection though, check out the Autobox Symmetry series or the UAG Monarch series we reviewed earlier. Anyways, that's it. If you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and to our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my case.